really sure why the chair here is empty because I need help from my colleagues and they're not even helping. <laughs> The most, um, some of the most common pollution here in the Marshall Islands, especially around Maduro, um, according to our research and what we got from our trip uh, down to the bowling alley at Uligani at Easy Price Mart, uh, one common pollution would be littering. Uh, we saw a lot of trash um, lying everywhere on the ground uh, with trash bins. Some clothes, some broken down, and I'm not sure why, but probably because due to the lack of uh, regulations and laws on how to throw away trash, trash were laying almost everywhere. And it's very sad and I would say disgusting. Um, some other pollution that we uh, noticed during our trip was uh, we could hear uh, noise pollution. Yes, there is noise pollution. Um, there were cars. Yes, uh, car motors, uh, vehicle motors, and dog dog barking. And we even we came up across a a dumpster near Lucky Star. Um, we saw plastic bottles and you know the Portland cement bags just lying down just beside this big trash trash can. I don't know if it's all due to the due to laziness or yeah. So one that is very prevalent would be littering, right? Yes. What again? Common type of um, pollution here in the Marshall Islands, obviously littering, as you guys can see. Um, there are many trash lying down, and then there's a trash bin right over there. Also, um, noise pollution also plays with uh, motor vehicles and dogs barking that's also a noise pollution that's right yeah. and hey <laughs> um with air pollution we have uh what we call the uh, emission of gases from cars um air ac uh, acs which um produce what we know as cfc's a technical term chlorofluorocarbons and uh, exhaust ventilators from the from restaurants and laundromats and uh, our power plant and these are and, uh, the old trucks that they they, they don't dump it away and, uh, yeah i'm gonna give it to the others Oh, and one uh, smell pollution um, that falls under large livestock li livestock farms. Uh, we wouldn't, we couldn't uh, see the livestock livestock farm, but we did notice the scent of pigs cages uh, somewhere on the back of the bowling alley. And uh, one of the clips that will be shown to you guys, I mentioned that it's very the scent was strong, and sadly you guys couldn't smell it. But yeah, we did so. We some of us had to close their nose and close their eyes and open their ears and work. Yes, thank you for your time, and I hope next time you learn a lot from yours. Don't forget to tell the Hey, bro, Louis Aram into the tortures and causes of behaviorism.